Hey guys, it's me, Shannon. Uh, wanted to come on here before I took off my makeup for the evening and um talk to you guys about something that's been bothering me. Um, guess when you guys see this, it, the video will have been put up yesterday. So, um, you know, I put up a video talking about some things about how people treat me here in my town um and the fact that I had been talking to a friend and they told me about women that actually want to be as heavy as I am or even heavier I'm gonna break it down to you guys being heavy is not fun. It's not glamorous. It, Whatever these women are doing this for, I don't know why, but it irritates me. And, you know, I'm going to break down some facts for you. I've been married five years. I've never once slept in the same bed as my husband. Because I have to sleep in a hospital bed. Just so that I don't quit breathing at night. This is my companion. Instead of my husband holding me. I get a nice little nasal cannula of oxygen. Two liters of oxygen. So that I don't quit breathing at night. My husband, we've been married five years, can't work because I can't be alone. He has to dress me. He does all the cleaning, does all the cooking, takes care of the cats, everything. I can't even go to a bathroom like a normal person. I have to use a bedside potty that's three feet wide to go to the bathroom. So why in the hell anybody would want to do this to themselves pisses me off. Now I don't want you guys feeling sorry for me or anything because that's not why I'm doing this. I want people to know what comes with this. You know, we don't just sit around on our asses and do nothing. Granted, I have for the last month because I've had surgery. Just to get around, I have to use a wheelchair that is 31 and a half inches wide, a power wheelchair, just so I can go to the store. And if it's not something that I can get to in my wheelchair without needing the bus or anything, I can't go. You know, I, I use a walker to walk halfway through my bedroom, which is the size of a garage, and I have to sit down just to catch my breath so I can walk the rest of the way out of the house. Life shouldn't be this way. And for anybody who wants to be this way just so they can have their 15 minutes of fame needs to have their head checked. You know, when I went to the hospital, when my gallbladder was acting up, thank God I wasn't having a heart attack. It took 
two hours before they could get a bariatric ambulance to my house. You know? And at that, it took a shitload of men to get me in the ambulance. So why anyone, anyone wants to do this and live like this is beyond me? You know, granted, my husband knew what he was getting, a little bit of what he was getting into when he met me. Because I know I didn't hide anything from him. I don't hide anything from anybody anymore. I used to never share pictures of me from the neck down. On my Facebook page, I've got my wedding pictures. You know, I had to have a friend specially make my wedding dress because I couldn't be like a normal woman and go pick out a dress. You know, we have got to stop. You know, America is known for being the, the most country the most obese country. We have got to stop. We have got to put our foot down. You know, somebody uh, left comment saying that, you know, you can't wait for the insurance company to do anything or that something to that effect. What I'm waiting and fighting for my insurance company won't send me to a nutritionist. I support my husband and I on social security that I get, which is not much. It barely pays for my rent. And I can't afford to go to a nutritionist to be taught the right way to eat the right things to eat and the right things to do. I have been fighting for so long for this weight loss surgery and I'm going to continue to fight because one way or the other I'm going to succeed. I'm going to get the 200 pounds down. And I'm going to have the surgery. And I'm going to live. But as far as anybody who thinks that, oh, they can become famous for being overweight or this and that, it's not worth it. I mean, besides this shit, half the times you guys see me in my videos, I'm in hospital gowns, I live in them because it's so hard to find clothes to fit me. That what few I do have I can't wear all the time because I don't want them wearing out. Yo, know, I'm 34 years old. By the time I get my weight down and get healthy enough, I'm not going to be able to have my own children. My husband and I will be parents one day, but it'll be through adoption. You know, it, it boggles my mind the way people think and why they do what they do. Being overweight isn't something somebody should want to do or want to be. And 
This is my last video that I'm going to make about this. Uh, this is just weighing on my heart and my mind too much. But, uh, you know, there's some harsh realities out there. You know, yeah, right now, I may not be diabetic. I may not have high blood pressure. I may not have, you know, anything wrong with my heart. I'm 34 years old. I have my youth. Or had my youth. <laughs> you know, uh, sooner or later, it's all going to catch up with me. And that's my biggest fear. It's one of my biggest fears. That and I'm going to stop being able to walk. And that scares the daylights out of me. But I love you guys and I will talk to you later. I just had to get that off my chest because nobody should ever in their right mind want to be severely overweight the way I am. Nobody. I love you all. Thank you. Bye.